from Brunswick High School. Thanks for watching DHS TV. Today is Wednesday, April 5th. I'm Bolua Kifo Wolabi. And I'm Jack Reed And here's what's going on at DHS. Prom will be held on Saturday, May 6th at the Indiana Roof Ballroom in downtown Indianapolis. The event starts at 7 o'clock and doors will open at 6.30. This year's theme is Old Hollywood. Tickets are $50 each and information for how to purchase will be coming soon. Students who want to bring a guest from another high school must fill out a special events guest request form. These can be picked up in Mr. Duran's room at Senior Academy 204 or the 2023 or 2024 team offices. All forms will be returned by next Friday, April 14th. Spring Break 2025 is closer than you think, and there is excited opportunity for BHS students to take a trip to Colombia. It will be a nine-day trip that includes learning to social dance, visiting ancient ruins, hiking through National Park, us back riding, visiting a, a coffee plantation, and so many more. There will be a meeting for anyone who is interested in learning more on Thursday, April 13 at 6 p.m. The meeting will be in Mrs. Muller's room, B2428. If you cannot make it to this meeting, you can see Mr. Friedman in B2318 or talk to Mrs. Muller in B2428. The National Art Honor Society will be hosting a knit night this Thursday, April 6 from 6.30 to 8 p.m. at BHS. Please enter door 6. The event is free and all materials will be provided or you may bring your own. See Mrs. Woodcock for more information. The time to buy a yearbook is running out. There are a limited number of copies left. If you want to buy a yearbook, please visit yearbookordercentral.com with the code 4408. Wearing a language with your ID is a VHS expectation that helps us provide a safe learning environment for our students and staff. All students are required to wear the language around the neck with their ID properly displayed at all times while in the building. The learning language will now be actual language that must be worn properly and returned back in the team office at dismissal. Failure to return the loaner will result in a detention and damage or loss of the loaner will be a $2 fine. Students will not be released early from class to return in the loaner. Avoid the inconvenience and possible consequences by making sure you have your own lanyard and ID each day. So I'm unable to find yours, a new lanyard and a new lanyard and ID must be purchased in the main office for five dollars. Hey, so do you know what this month is about? Uh, no idea. Well, it's Autism Awareness Month and DHS TV Club Temporary has some more information about it. April is Autism Awareness Month. And as someone on the spectrum myself, I wanted VHS to be a little bit more aware of the spectrum. So, that's what I'm here to do. So let's dive right on in. Just to quickly mention, autism is a disorder. It is not caused by vaccines, it is usually caused via genetics. People on the spectrum are different, but they're human as well. Autism spectrum disorder, ASD, is a developmental disability caused by differences in the brain. People with ASD often have problems with social communication and interaction and restricted or repetitive behaviors or interests. Examples of restricted or repetitive behaviors or interests includes repeats words or phrases over and over, is focused on parts of an object, gets upset by minor changes, has obsessive interests, must follow certain routes, flaps hands, rocks body, or spins self in circles, has unusual reactions to the way things sound, smell, taste, look, or feel. A great number of children identified with ASD has led to a growing interest in the transition to adolescence and adulthood. For most young people, including those with ASD, adolescence and young adulthood are filled with new challenges, responsibilities, and opportunities. However, research suggests fewer young people with ASD have the same opportunities as their peers without ASD. Well, I hope my news story at least helped give some more insight on the autism spectrum as a whole and helped educate you all a bit more about it. I'm Clark Thornberry, BHS TV. Wow, that was extremely informative. Yeah, I have to admit, I've never knew autism was like that. Now it's time for sport. Hey, Bella, what do you ask for us today? Hey, guys, we had a couple of our teams in action last night, and we have some more coming up soon. Let's start off with the baseball team who got their regular season underway last night, hosting Lawrence North. The Dogs were able to come up from behind and earn a 7-5 victory over the Wildcats. 
Coulter Hamilton and Colin McNear had a home run in the game, and P.J. Fry had a RBI double in the seventh inning to put the dogs on top for good. Congrats, guys. The track and field teams held their first ever home meet of the season last night when Cathedral and Brebeuf visited BHS. The girls had a nice meet, scoring 77.5 points to take first place. Paige Kurtz set a new scroll record in the 200 with a time of 25.01 seconds. And a 4x100 team of Kurtz, Darrell Rice, London Smith, and Izzy Neal also took first place. Peace Fazor and Eva Olshaw also started in first. Emily Rittenauer and Loria Snowden were your winners in the high jump and shot put. Nice job, ladies. The boys were dominant in their meet, scoring 124.5 points in the win. DeAndre Cooper won the 100, and Dominic Calhoun in the 200. Drew Crockett won both the shot put and discus. The 4 by 100 team of Cooper, Calhoun, Josh Handy, and Caleb Heldman ran a state-leading time of 41.64 seconds. Other, other first-place finishers on the night included Ian Baker, Eli Balbeck, Freddie Hawthorne, Alex Yasu, Justin Petty, and Mario Joaquin. Nice job, guys. Let's take a quick look at the upcoming sports schedule for our spring athletes. The track and field team will host Speedway in Southport next Tuesday. The softball team will continue their season when they travel to Cathedral. The baseball team will be back in action tonight hosting Hamilton Southeastern. The boys golf team is preparing for their start of the season this Saturday when they host Brownsburg Invitational at West Chase. The girls tennis team is just a week away from their first match when they host Franklin Central next Monday. And the unified track and field team will will get their regular season started later this month. Make sure to keep an eye on BHS Athletics social media for announcements about cancellations and postponements to our spring sports events due to weather. The boys club volleyball team beat Covenant Christian last night 3-0. Dimitri Cutup had 8 kills and 2 aces. Aaron Haney had 8 kills and 3 aces. Michael Fennell had 8 assists and 4 aces. And Connor Duke had 11 assists and 2 blocks. They play number nine Southport tonight and have a home game on Thursday against Indy Genesis. Students and teachers are admitted free with an ID. They'd love to see you there. That's it for sports today. Back over to you. Thanks, Bella. That's all we got for you today, BHS. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you on Friday.